football. That is the Cleveland Browns, 0-5. Um, lost another starter today. Cody Kessler had to leave the game with an injury. Um, actually played um, Terrell Pryor, our quarterback, for a couple snaps before bringing in Charlie Whitehurst. I believe they are the first team since the 2002 Eagles uh, to have five people line up at quarterback within the first five weeks of the season as Charlie Whitehurst came in. So Whitehurst, Pryor, Kessler, um, RG3, and Josh McCown have all lined up for the Browns. Five quarterbacks, 0 and 5 record. Um, you know, they're have pretty seems like they have a very strong chance of getting that first pick overall in next season's draft and uh you know possibly taking the quarterback of their choice for their future uh we as everyone knows they've had quite a large amount of quarterbacks you know over the past 15 16 years and really none of them have been all that successful um you know so if they get that first pick they're definitely hoping that can change so uh let me take a short commercial break uh we'll hear a word from damage 365 and our sponsors and when i get back as i mentioned i will be speaking about some uh, well-known NBA players and the new teams that they are on. The following announcement has been paid for by the New World Order. Hello, ladies. I'm the Big Balbuski here, and you're listening to Damage 365 Radio. <laughs> break as I mentioned prior to that I would be talking about the NBA which is starting in 16 days we have three games going on that day uh, two of the main games being um, the New York Knicks uh, new look New York Knicks and you'll hear more about them um, two of their players um, going up against the M- defending NBA champion Cleveland Cavaliers. Also have the San Antonio Spurs. We'll be hearing about one of their new players uh, against the um, 
you know, last season, breaking an NBA record for most wins in a season, you know, lost in the NBA Finals to the Cavs, 73-9, uh, and no best regular season record, Golden State Warriors, and, you know, they have a guy I will be mentioning, I'm sure, um, you know, pretty much every NBA fan uh, should figure out which new face on the, um, excuse me, the Golden State Warriors uh, will be listed on this list. So basically, uh, you know, what the list is about, and, you know, I've done many uh, top 10 lists in the past, uh, just 10 guys I'm interested in seeing, uh, you know, on their new uh, teams. Uh, these guys, you know, have played in the NBA for, you know, a few years at least, and, you know, they're on new teams this year, and I want to see, you know, how that well they acclimate with their new team. And, you know, these are all guys uh, that have played in the league. I'm not going to name rookies. Uh, you know, of course, someone like Joel Embiid, I'm really interested in seeing. Uh, you know, Embiid, of course, has missed uh, his first two potential seasons with injuries. Finally, in what would normally be his third year is now his rookie year. Uh, you know, Ben Simmons, first overall pick, but he... Uh, you know, may miss a while uh, due to a broken leg. Uh, you know, so no rookies on this list. These are all guys who have played in the NBA before. Uh, you know, some honorable mentions, uh, guys who didn't quite make my list. Uh, Ryan Anderson, now on the Houston Rockets. Uh, Rajon Rondo, now on the Chicago Bulls. Sergi Baca, now on the Orlando Magic. And Evan Turner, now on the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, you know, there's many more I could have named on honorable mentions as there was a lot of team switching to go on in the NBA. Uh, you know, of course, with the new uh, salary cap, uh, largely due to uh, the huge TV contract that was signed by the NBA. Of course, many free agents signed enormous deals, uh, you know, with either, uh, you know, their the team they've been on or a new team. Um, so, you know, some huge free agent deals, uh, you know, most of these guys on my name were, you know, signed as free agents, but a couple were acquired, uh, via trade. So let's get the list started. Number 10 is Eric Gordon, who signed a four year, $53 million contract to join the Houston Rockets. Eric Gordon has always been a very intriguing player to me because, you know, he is a great scorer, a great shooter. Um, you know, he's always been able to shoot well. Last season, 38.4% from downtown, which is right about his career average of 38.3. Um, you know, he's going into his, I believe, his 10th season, and he's just turning 28 in Christmas. Um, I, actually, I believe this is his ninth season coming up. Uh, you know, he's a 16.6 point per game scorer. Uh, last season, averaged 15.2 points per game. His problem has been, though, he cannot stay on the court for, you know, almost a full season. Uh, last season, just 45 games. Uh, in total, his five seasons with New Orleans, he played in 45, 61, 64, 42, and just nine games. Uh, his previous two seasons with the Clippers appeared in 56 and 62 games. So, you know, this is a guy who, uh, you know, you can almost chalk up to miss at least 20 games every season. Uh, you know, Rockets banking on, you know... It being different than his previous seven seasons and, you know, him being able to stay on the court. Because if he's able to do that in uh, Mike D'Antoni offense, um, you know, he may be able to put up a lot of points, uh, you know, playing alongside, uh, you know, offensive savant um, James Harden. Um, you know, so if Eric Gordon could stay healthy, he's definitely a guy I want to see. Mike D'Antoni and the Rockets. Number nine on the list. Uh, Joakim Noah, uh, you know, longtime Chicago Bull, signing a four-year, $72 million contract to join the New York Knicks. Uh, you know, he spent each of his first nine seasons with the Bulls, 572 games, uh, twice was an All-Star, uh, was first-team All-NBA in the 2013-14 season. Uh, also, that year was named Defensive Player of the Year. Um, you know, that was just... Uh, He's just played two seasons since then, but, you know, 
uh, definitely isn't seen in the same light in that short amount of time. Uh, last season, uh, you know, was very injury shortened as he just appeared in 29 games. In those 21 nine games, uh, played 21.9 minutes per game, only averaged 4.3 points per game, just shot 38 and a half percent from the field and 48.9 percent from a free throw line. Still rebounded very well though, 8.8 rebounds per game, but. You know, you see just two seasons prior, that first team All-NBA Defensive Player of the Year season, uh, you know, averaged 12.6 points, 11.3 rebounds per game, one and a half blocks per game, shot almost 30% better from the free throw line, 73.7%. Um, you know, he's turning 32 on February 25th, uh, you know, so his four-year contract uh, may be a little lengthy. Um, you know, you got to hope he could stay healthy. He's definitely uh, still a very, very good defensive player when healthy. Uh, won't necessarily bring a lot to the table on offense, uh, you know, but the Knicks have, uh, you know, guys who can put the ball in the basket. So, uh, you know, not not really what they're looking for for Noah. You know, if he could bring that defensive intensity that he had always been known for with the balls, it could be a very good signing. Noah, number nine on the list. Number eight on the list is Dwight Howard. Uh, signed a three-year, $70.5 million contract to join the Atlanta Hawks. Can you believe he will be entering his 13th season in the NBA? Uh, you know, of course, he came straight out of high school into the pros. So, you know, despite being in the league that long, still 30 years old, will turn 31 on December 8th. Uh, he played his last three seasons with the Rockets. Did deal with some injuries in that time, uh, but when he did play, he still was productive, maybe not towards the level he was, uh, you know, with the Orlando Magic when he was a perennial MVP candidate and once took uh, his team to the finals. But uh, in the three seasons with the Rockets, averaged 16 points, 11.7 rebounds, 1.6 blocks, and shot 60.1% from the field. Uh, last season, um, you know, he's never been good from the free throw line, but last season he shot a career worst 48.9% from the foul line. Uh, also shot a career best 62% from the field. Um, but uh, this is a guy who five times led the NBA in rebounds per game, twice led the NBA in blocks per game. He has averaged a double double every season of his career. Uh, you know, so he's still a very productive player. One that is scrutinized, you know, often has missed games due to injury. Um, but, you know, uh, he stays on the court. He will definitely be, uh, you know, a huge boon to the Atlanta Hawks and, you know, their chances of doing well this season. Number seven, Harrison Barnes signing a max deal four years, $94.4 million to join the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, this is after four seasons with the Golden State Warriors, uh, you know, two seasons ago winning an NBA championship last season, helping lead the Golden State Warriors to the best regular season record ever. Uh, you know, but, you know, the Mavericks are banking on him being able to show more production, you know, not being in the shadow of guys like Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green. Last season, 66 games, uh, averaged 11.7 points, 4.9 rebounds, also shooting 38.3% uh, from three-point range. Uh, only averaged nine points per game in 24 games in the playoffs, though. And in his last three uh, NBA Finals games, uh, of course, the Warriors were up 3-1, to one, then went on to pr proceeded to lose the next three, losing the Cavaliers in seven games. In those three games, um, Barnes shot a putrid 5 for 32 from the field. Ouch. Um, you know, look at his career per, just 11.6 per player efficiency rating. Last season, 12.3. You know, an average player is considered to be around 15, so... Uh, you know, the Mavericks are just really banking on him, you know, being able to produce without, uh, you know, two-time reigning MVP Steph Curry, uh, the other splash brother, Clay Thompson. 
uh, you know, probably playing second fiddle and maybe sometimes being the main player. Uh, you know, of course, Dirk Nowitzki at his event stage may not be able to bring it every game. Uh, you know, we'll see what Harrison Barnes could do with that big contract. Uh, he's number seven. Number six on the list is Victor Oladipo. Oladipo was not a free agent. He was traded from the Magic along with Ersan Ilyasova and the draft rights to to DeMontis Sabonis uh, for Serge Ibaka. Uh, Ibaka, of course, played his whole career with the Thunder. Uh, Oladipo played his first three seasons with the Magic after being drafted third overall by them, excuse me, second overall by them in 2013. Uh, in each of his first three seasons, he has improved.